If you have developed with SQL Server in the past, then Query Analyzer is probably one of your favorite tools, as it is mine. And many developers were hesitant about moving to Management Studio for SQL Server 2005 because they didn't want to leave Query Analyzer in the dust. But the Query Editor in Management Studio is actually pretty cool. Let me show you. I'm going to open up the Get Price Stored Procedure, scripting the stored procedure as an alter command, just so we can have something up here on the window. And Auto Hide Object Explorer. This looks very similar to the old Query Analyzer, one of our favorite tools. A couple of things to point out here. We can disconnect or connect back to the server. So the Query Editor can work in a disconnected state. That's new. Query Analyzer could not do that. You can even come up here and just switch to a different server, which is very nice. We are currently connected to the master database. So let's go ahead and change that to OBX Kites. Then we could execute. Execute is similar to Query Analyzer in that if you just press execute, you run the entire script. Give us some more room here. Or you could highlight whatever text you want to execute and execute just that one text. The parse button will send the text to SQL Server just for a quick syntax check. Nothing is executed. It's just a way of making sure that your syntax is at least valid. Two other buttons worth pointing out. This is the Display Estimated Execution Plan and then also the Include Actual Execution Plan. And we'll be using those extensively later on, especially in the indexing lesson. New to the Query Editor is a whole series of Bookmark and Control K features. So let me come down and select a line and then Control K, K, places a bookmark there. Let me come down and place another bookmark, just another location, only for purposes of showing you the bookmark. Control K, N, then moves to the next bookmark. There's a whole series of K commands. You can find them listed down here in the menu, as far as toggling bookmarks, enabling them, moving the next and previous, clearing them. A feature that I have found useful is when you do a find, even the quick find, you can go ahead and instead of moving to every time you find that word or that string in your text, you can say bookmark all, and then it will simply bookmark them and you can move through your code much easier. So that's a whole new feature as far as moving through your code is the bookmarks. Looking down at the result window, you can size this to fit. In Query Analyzer, there was a toolbar button to hide the result window. That's missing now, but Control-R still works as far as opening and closing the result window. And you can choose whether or not the result is in text or a grid or results are sent to a file, both up in these toolbar buttons and in the query menu. There's one more cool hidden feature that I want to show you. Let me close the result window. The query designer is actually a graphical way of seeing your query. Let me just create a real simple query so I can show you this. And switch to OBX Kites. Select star from product. I'll highlight this. And this is the query designer. It's possible to drag new tables into it, to say add a table, even a derived table, which we'll talk about in the upcoming lesson on subqueries. You can select the output, select sort, and then see the text down here. A weakness of the query designer is you cannot execute queries here. There's no result pane and you can't use this for any data modifications. However, there's another way to get to the Query Designer that opens up some more capabilities. I'll go back to the Object Explorer, select a table, use the same product table we used a few minutes ago. And if you say Open Table, it shows you the results. Let me slide off so Object Explorer will auto-hide. This looks like just a regular result pane showing us everything in the product table. However, we can show the diagram pane to show all of the source tables. Here's the criteria pane so you can see the different columns and how you're selecting and sorting. And there's the raw SQL. And there's an execute button as well. So that's the graphical way of working with queries as well as the query editor inside of Management Studio. We could spend another hour with me showing you the nitty gritty details throughout all of Management Studio as far as the property windows, templates, However, I've shown you enough to get us going so we can jump into code.